Hi beautiful, you're in the mood for some upper body work? Me too, so let's get to it. We're gonna start standing up against the wall. You wanna have your feet shoulder width apart and you wanna have your feet far enough away from the wall so that if you decide to go into the wall sit, you will feel like you're anchored on the floor with the feet. You'll have nice alignment of your feet, your knees and your hips, which will help you to be able to stay here longer. Your wall sit position should feel nice and stable. You can decide how far down you wanna go, whatever feels safe and right for you. It's gonna be different for all of us and that's absolutely fine. And when you're feeling fatigued in the legs, go ahead and stand back up. It's absolutely fine. It's important that we honor where our bodies are at. And if you just want to stand the whole time, you can. If you're standing, make sure you keep your knees just a little soft so that you're not locking out your knee joint. And whether you're sitting or standing, you want to make sure that your entire spine is up against the wall. All right, you ready? Let's do this. I'm going to start in a gentle wall sit. We're going to go into arm circles. You're going to bring your arms up, palms facing each other. Make sure that the shoulders don't pull forward. Keep them back. Your upper back should stay against the wall. And then you're going to open your arms out to the side, have them touch the wall, and then bring the arms down, palms facing out, trying to keep your shoulders open. And then we're going to repeat that. Palms come towards each other, opening up the arms, bringing them down to your side. And going again. Keep the shoulders back. Make sure that you're breathing. <laughs> Try not to hold your breath. You should feel the upper back work, feeling the shoulders working. If you're in a gentle wall sit, you'll feel your legs working. Of course, you wanna feel your abs working with you, using the breath to engage your abs, pulling navel to spine with each exhale. Let's just do a few more this way. How's it feeling? You can always rest if you want to, that's fine. And then go ahead and rest. Nice. We're gonna reverse the circle now, making sure your spine is up against the wall. Arms are straight, palms facing away from you. Try to keep your shoulders as open as you can. You're gonna draw your arms up the wall, palms facing out. And you're gonna bring your arms together, making sure that the shoulders don't pull forward, right? And then coming back to home base and repeating that. You wanna feel your upper back and your shoulders working. Of course, you wanna use your breath and use your abs. You can be in that gentle wall sit if you want, or you can stand. Make sure that you're not locking your knees out if you're standing. If you get tired in the wall sit, go ahead and stand up like I did. <laughs> Let's just do a few more here. Feeling that upper back, feeling your shoulders. Let's do one more. Now you're gonna keep the arms there, palms face down. Now you're gonna pull your elbows back till they touch the wall and then bring your arms forward again without the shoulders coming forward, right? <sighs> Pulling the elbows back, keeping the back of your head on the wall, keeping your abs engaged, feeling your spine anchored on the wall. Let's do a few more and then we're gonna add something here. Really feel the upper back pull the elbows wide. Feeling the muscles in between your shoulder blades working. Feeling the top of your shoulders working. A couple more. And now from here, you're gonna go up into like the wall angel and then down and back to the starting position. So bring the elbows back into the angel position, back down and repeating that. Going into the wall angel, feeling the top of the shoulders working. I'm gonna go back down into a sit, just a gentle wall sit, work my legs a little bit more. 
Try to keep your upper back imprinted on the wall as you go into the wall angel. Feeling the top of the shoulders. Use your abs. Use your breath. Let's do a few more. You should be feeling those shoulders by now. I'm feeling the heat. Are you feeling the heat? I'm feeling it. Let's do one more. Excellent, and then go ahead and rest. Nicely done. You're gonna be in a modified plank position, but that doesn't mean that you are not working your entire body. Work your glutes, use your abs, right? Hands slightly above your shoulders, head in line with your spine. Elbows are gonna bend straight down, working your triceps. The closer you are to the wall, the easier it will be, so you wanna decide for yourself what feels right you do want to challenge yourself, but you want to feel safe and capable. There is no wrong. Do what's best for you. We're all different. Use your breath. You should be feeling the burn. I'm feeling the burn. I hope you're feeling the burn. I hope I'm not the only one feeling the burn. <laughs> Let's do a few more. I'm feeling the heat. Are you feeling the heat? Are you getting a little sweat on? I'm getting a little sweat on. Ooh, one more. Excellent, and rest. Now you're gonna have your hands wider. We're gonna go into the more classic push-up position here. Elbows are gonna go wide, and then come back to home base and repeat that. Try to keep your head in line with your spine. Remember your glutes, remember your abs. You're very active in your entire body. Try not to just sink in your chest. Try to stabilize your shoulder blades. Really feel your upper back and shoulders and arms working. I'm feeling it. Are you feeling it? Are you feeling the heat? My goodness. I definitely have a little bit of a sweat going. <laughs> Woo. Let's do a few more. Use your breath. You got this. Wow, one more. Excellent, nicely done. Are you ready for exclusive content, early access to content, and other perks? Join us on Patreon. Click on the link in the description of this post for more. Special shout out to my Vital 7 stars. Thank you for making this video possible.